Most people that know me know that I have a very complicated relationship with skiing. There's a really good line from Fight Club that says, only after we've lost everything are we free to do anything. After losing my fiance Liz in an avalanche in 2014, I was sure I was done. I was sure I was never gonna ski again. It's been an incredible privilege to rediscover skiing with Deanne because she, she loves it for the same reasons I do. We love going fast, we love the snow, we love the light, the beauty of the mountains. I think the silver lining of living through any tragedy is that you emerge with tools to understand yourself a little better. It's actually a very liberating feeling for me when I go skiing to know that the only reason I'm out there is to have fun. What's really interesting to me about the early season is that it, it's almost like a, a growth ring on a tree, meaning that it reminds you of the year before and you can tell how much progress you've made in a year, whether it's physical or emotional. That's what's so crazy about skiing, because like clockwork, every time it snows again, I'm back up there. First rando race of the season. It doesn't have to be the same, it won't be the same. I don't want it to be the same, but it's awesome and I love it. I think that's actually been a, an, an enormous gift to, to, to understand why I really do the sport. And for me, it's, it's allowed me to focus on the little things. I really like skiing fast. I like being up in the mountains. It's also something that's given me like 98% of my incredible experiences in life. It's funny because I've actually tried to stop skiing, but I can't. And every fall, every first snowstorm, I'm back up there. If there's a day that skiing becomes too dangerous or too boring for me to accept, then I'll hang up my skis. Until that day comes, you're going to see us skidding up from the parking lot after the first dump with our little 63 millimeter rando race skis poking around in rocks and grass. you out there.